Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Doc Project 365, episode 1420. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddoc.com. Check out all of our full length videos. That's where we house them. Today, what we're doing is talking about the pendulum action of the kettlebell swing, and when we get a little bit out of timing, how that can turn into this like butt slapping technique, okay? So, here's what I mean by that. Uh, I do think when we do our kettlebell swings, the kettlebell stays down, right? So it, all, it, it, it always works in that same pendulum like such, right? Just like you see here. Now, if we get out of rhythm, if we make those motions too abrupt, right? Or if we uh, aren't in sync with the, the kettlebell moving one, one, one direction or other, this is what it's gonna look like. It starts to look like this, right? Where now the kettlebell itself is not in line with the pendulum motion that it could be, right? So we probably agree that there's less wear and tear when we're like this than if we're like this, right? Same thing happens when we're doing the full technique in between our legs, right? When we're moving the kettlebell, I have a nice fluid action, right? The kettlebell bell stays downward. When I start to get abrupt, change that movement, the bell slaps us like that on the back, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start pressing the bell away, and if we feel that the bell stops like such, we're gonna increase our torso lean, right? So that our torso lean equals the same angle that the bell is at, right? So if I'm stopping short, my torso is upright, the bell slaps backwards, right? If I get a little bit far, if I, if I equal my torso lean with the, the lean that the bell is at, you'll see that that stops and the bell no longer hits me in the butt. Again, I stop abrupt, bell hits me in the butt. Now let's put this into a real life example. I bring this up into a kettlebell snap, or a kettlebell swing. Good torso length, bad torso length. Get what I'm saying? All right, so. If we get lazy with our torso angle, with continuing to lean forward, that bell is gonna continue that momentum, start slapping us in the butt, breaks down that connectivity that we have between the bell, we lose power, torque, uh, and the ability uh, to do the exercise correctly. So, try to add a little bit of torso lean if you're having trouble with this. Um, otherwise, questions, comments, please post it below. Guys, we're here each and every day, optimizing function to optimize performance.